video, we are going to be learning about applications or word problems that involve perfect squares and square roots, as well as how to solve equations that involve square roots. So let's take a look at the first example. The area of a square is 25 square centimeters. What is the length of the side? So if we look at this picture, we know that there's 25 square units that fill this space. We're trying to figure out what one side length is. Well, we can count that side length. We count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This side is 5. All the sides are 5, right, because it's a square, and a square has four congruent sides. Well, let's work backward and think, well, what do I do with the length and the width of the two sides to get the area? Well, if I take one side length and I multiply it by itself, because those sides are congruent, I'm going to get the area of 25. So our general rule for if we know the area of a square is that if we take the square root of that area, we are going to get the side length. And this is only specific to squares, so we, have, we want to say the area of a square. This wouldn't apply to other shapes. Okay, so if I take the square root of that 25, I'm going to get the side length of 5 centimeters. Let's take a look at the next example. Sally wants to fence her square yard that has an area of 81 square feet. So I'm going to write the area on the inside of this square. How much fencing does she need to buy? So we're looking to find the perimeter, but in order to know the perimeter, we have to know what one of the sides is. So we know that it's square, so all the sides are congruent. So what number times itself would give me 81? Well, that's the same as finding the square root of 81, which would give us 9 feet. Now the next part of the question is asking us for the perimeter. So we need to multiply the side length times 4, or you could add up the sides 4 times either way. So I'm going to multiply 4 times that side length, and that's going to give me 36 feet. That would be how much fencing she would need to go around the outside of the garden. All right, let's talk about how we solve an equation that involves a radical. So x squared equals 16 is really asking us, what number do I square to get 16? Well, I can square 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, but I can also square negative 4 to get positive 16. So really, this equation has two answers, positive or negative 4. How do we solve this? Well, we unsquare both sides of the equation. We take the square root, right, because that will tell us what two numbers I multiply to get 16. And that gives me x equals, and because we know it's a plus or minus, we talked about why that is here, our answer will be plus or minus 4. Let's go to the next example. x squared equals 100. So we're going to unsquare or take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we are going to get x equals plus or minus the square root of 100 is 10. Next example, x squared equals 49. Same thing, we're going to take the square root of both sides of the equation, which x is going to equal positive or negative 7. I'd like to take this idea of how to solve that equation and go back to the first example with the area of 25 square centimeters and we want to find that side length. So if I know the formula for the area of a square is area equals side squared, that looks very much like these examples we just did. So if I plug in 25 for the area here, I get 25 equals side squared. We solve it the same way we solve those equations. We take the square root of both sides, and we get that the side is equal to now in this example, we're looking for a measurement, so we're not going to use that negative root. We're only going to use the principal root of 5, and that would be 5 centimeters. Let's look at one more. The area of the square is 144 square feet. How long is one side? So we know area is 144 feet squared. Our formula for area of a square is area oops, equals side squared. So we're going to plug in 144 for area. 144 equals side squared, and we are going to take the square root of both sides of that equation, and we are going to get that the side is equal to 12 